Welcome to the Kony Mobile Fabric Analytics Overview Tutorial. In this video, we are going to cover the basics of how you can benefit from the automatic instrumentation and insights provided by Mobile Fabric Analytics. You will also see how you can extend that to capture your own custom metrics or user and application events. The features available using Mobile Fabric Analytics categorized into three main groups. Metrics and reporting includes both standard metrics that are automatically captured on both the client and backend to provide numerous out-of-the-box standard reports that give insight into client-side, server-side, user engagement, and business analytics. This category also includes custom metrics features that allow you to elect to send additional data specific to your application and visually build your own custom reports using a combination of standard and custom metrics. The second category is events and user journey. Using the Mobile Fabric SDK, you can configure automatic event capture or use the API to capture certain standard or custom events within the application. This allows you to track the user journey through the application and capture specific events that are significant to your application use case. A business admin can then use standard event reports to analyze the data or build funnels to view how users progress through the application. Business admins can also build custom reports using the metrics and application events to report on specific criteria. The last category is application performance. The Mobile Fabric SDK enables the capturing of any unhandled exceptions, handled exceptions, or crashes that occur in your client application. You can also use the SDK to trigger custom errors based on business rules. These errors will be incorporated into the events and user journey I just described, so the business admin or operations team can get a full picture of when, where, and how often errors are occurring. Hooks are also available to easily integrate third-party APM vendors if needed, such as criticism, new relic, app dynamics, and crash detects. I will now walk you through each of these categories of analytics using a simple example of an e-commerce demo app called Kony Store. This app allows the user to browse or search for a product, view the product details, and add it to the cart. For standard metrics, analytics from the client and backend services are automatically captured by the SDK. These standard metrics drive the reporting dashboard and enables all of these standard reports out of the box. Here you can see the Mobile Fabric Analytics dashboard that provides you an overview of the application activity. You can customize which applications or which environments and what time span the data needs to be displayed. You can even customize the layout of the dashboard. You can also switch between reports and view the reports in full screen. The dashboard provides you data at a glance on client analytics such as daily users, activity per location, and usage per application. You can also see data about the backend services used by your application by viewing activity per API and also drilling into the latency of those APIs to see which ones may be missing the configured threshold. A summarized view of errors and crashes are also displayed. In addition to the dashboard, there are full standard reports that can be run using various input parameters and filters. For example, if I want to see my user activity, I can run this report and view active users for a given date range and set of filter criteria. If I want to analyze the backend service usage, I can run this report and see the volume to each of my services that drives this particular application. There is also a service duration detailed report that allows you to analyze the latency of each of these APIs across the various phases of the API lifecycle. For a more detailed walkthrough of each of the standard reports, please see the standard reports overview tutorial. In addition to these standard metrics, we want to capture custom metrics to track which products are being searched along with the price of that product. To capture that, we simply invoke the metrics API during the search action in the app and pass the product data. We can then use the visual report builder to create custom reports such as overview of the top products being searched for and expose the filter criteria based on price. Once the custom report is built, it will be available to other users with the reporting role when they log into the Mobile Fabric console. For a more detailed walkthrough of building custom reports, please see the custom reports tutorial. Additionally, the business may want to track user activity through the app with the ultimate goal of driving more checkouts. Using the events API, the developer can capture product search, product view, add to cart, and checkout events. A business user can then run the standard events activity report where they can get a basic overview of how many events of each type occur for a given date range. The business user can also use the detailed report to enter more filter criteria to get a view of the user funnel. The business user could also build their own custom reports using the event data. The last category of analytics is application performance. In most cases, 
all the application performance data needed is automatically captured. But custom performance and error data can be sent using a similar API. Errors and crashes can be analyzed using this overview report. The operations team can also use the error detail report to retrieve detailed information on error stacks and crash data as needed. For more information about Mobile Fabric Analytics or other features of Kony Mobile Fabric, please visit developer.kony.com.